What's up gamers, I'll drain your soul. Um, welcome back to uh, another one of my videos. It's been a while since I've done one. But um, yes, done something drastic today. This um, pony done something drastic. Basically, got up this morning, sitting there playing on one of my uh, on my PS4 Pro, you know, the best console out at the moment. Yeah, you Xbox. You heard me right, PS4 best console out. Um, yeah, so sitting there and looking over, and there's me um, PSVR sitting there looking at me collecting dust for some being on it for about a week or so. And I thought, you know what, um, I think I'll do something drastic and change it in. Um, sorry, trade it in. So, boxed it all up, went down to my local game store, traded it in, and got 210 quid for it. Was going to put that down on the Xbox One X. So, um, this Xbox, this pony, sorry is gradually converting to a, an Xbox maybe but uh, yeah all jokes aside um, yeah I'd first decide to trade it in um, I'm not going to start slagging off PSVR because personally I really enjoy PSVR I think it looks great every time I put it on I'm sort of transferred into that 3D world and you know it, it does work well it tricks my brain into thinking I'm there games like Batman I get fear to go and I'm standing on the edge of buildings you know start shitting myself and stuff get start getting jelly legs um, games like Rigs um, makes me feel a bit sick and this is one of the downsides to VR um, it's the second time I've had the PSVR got it I was finding a lot of games were making me feel really nauseous so got rid of it and then I sort of missing it so I ended up getting it again and you know I will admit I started to get used to the nauseousness the sickly feeling um, getting better at it but I don't play it enough to totally combat that and um, plus I'm also a bit concerned on what it's actually gonna do to your eyes and stuff like that because the actual VR, um, as I say, it makes me feel sick. It uh, gives me scared of heights and stuff. Like you get that sense of speed, and I don't know. It's just uh, just a bit surreal, really. But yeah, I really love VR. Um, I probably will get it again if they improve the headset and stuff. The graphics with it, I'm not too concerned about the graphics. Um, yeah, I've got a PS4 Pro and I've got a 4K telly. The resolution on the VR isn't great. It's got like a like a screen door effect, like grainy effect to it. But for some reason, um, VR gets a pass with the resolution because the graphics look different um, in the VR world. I can't explain what it is. Everything's there. Like some of the best looking games, if you ever get a chance to do it, is have a look at Batman um, VR and. The Resident Evil and even Tomb Raider. Um, the games look amazing in it. It's you really think you're you're, you're in them rooms, like. But yeah, so I decided to trade it in. Um, my major, my biggest gripe with the VR is the. I say you've got loads of wires. You've got like a little pass-through box which um, your VR unit plugs into that, and HDMI comes from the back of your PlayStation. And then the cable from the PlayStation. I'm sorry, a HDMI from the back of your PlayStation into this unit, and then from this unit, HDMI from that into your telly. But the problem with that is it doesn't support HDR. So, whenever I want to play games, looking at the best um, resolution or looking the best on my PS4 Pro, I've got a disconnect. Um, the HDMI from my PlayStation 4 um, reconnect it to the one straight to the telly and this can become a bit of a hassle because you know if you're doing this all the time 
it's gonna do wear and tear on your HDMI ports and it's gonna end up fucking me my PlayStation basically. So that's one of the reasons I probably didn't play my VR as much because it just sort of dumb me in switching the cables constantly. Um and I don't know if anyone else has found this, but when I first booted me VR up, I'd say for within the first 20 minutes, 30 minutes of playing, um, I'd just get a black screen for a couple of seconds and then it'd go back um, as if it's sort of um, making sure it's connected to the right channel, which is quite annoying. Um, done it to me uh, from day one, it done it with me last one as well. So I think it just may be, I don't know if it's something to do with my telly or it's a fault with the actual VR units. Um, but yeah, it's only when you first, I say when you first got on for the first half hour, within that first half hour, it may do it once or twice. So your screen just goes black for a few seconds as if it's trying to locate the channel and then it goes back to the, the unit. Um, let us know if this does, this does it to anyone else. So yeah, um, I say I'm not going to shit on VR. Uh, I really, in, I really do enjoy it. Um, I think it's, you know, I think it's sort of underrated. I think a lot of people like to slag it off without even actually trying it. But yeah, the, as I say, the motion sickness thing is a little bit off putting. The, um, the not supporting HDR through the unit is a big no for me. It's. I know it's only a little thing, it won't ask some people, but I don't know, it just sort of really freaked me off. So yeah, traded it in, in-game, got a decent price for it, um, back. Um, asked if I could put the money down towards the Xbox One X, which they said no, they can't do it. Um, still, yeah, still no um, information from Microsoft, but I believe we've got Gamescom on the 20th I think which possibly this Sunday so I've got a feeling Microsoft are gonna announce the release um, pre-orders from Sunday maybe Monday but I've got a sneaky feeling as well they're gonna do some crazy um, trading offer to try and get as many Xbox X's in homes as they can um, don't know what they could do but it definitely, I've got the Xbox One S Gears of War one, you know, I'd, um, I'd get rid of that straight away really, I'm, I'm not, it's no secret, I'm not, um, I'm not impressed with the Xbox One S. Um, just too many little niggles and flaws to, with it really. Like this gen, PS4, has sort of won me over, I just think PS4, especially PS4 Pro, most powerful console. At present, all the best looking games only on PlayStation 4 Pro. Yeah. Um, you Xbox in there, bang bang, lap it up. But yeah, this is based, I say this video is basically, uh, I'd like to give a shout out to everyone in bang bang. Good fanboy group there. Um, if you like taking the piss out of ponies and Xbox, um, that's a good group good for banter and stuff and you know your game talk and stuff like that which is pretty good so a big shout out to everyone in Bang Bang too many of you to name but uh, you know who you all are but yeah that's basically um, all I have to say really um, got rid of my PSVR so it looks like this pony could be converting to an Xbox so um, watch this space and um, keep it gaming. Catch us later. Speeches in a uh, bang bang. Later. <laughs>